Come on. Shit. Hey guys, or it's time for me to stop pussyfooting around. These carburetors off, especially with through all the rain that's been going on, this thing's sitting under cover. I'm battling rust all the time. Uh, there's something I've learned that you can take from me and not learn the hard way, is that when you have a motorcycle that you're working on outside and it's not in a garage, you're kind of fucked. You need to, like every day, make go out there and make sure surface rust is under control. There's nothing trying to live in the carbs and whatnot so on and fucking so forth, man. So I've been studying on inline four carburetors and all kinds of carburetors for the past couple weeks just trying to make sure I'm not gonna screw shit the fuck up. Cause as you know, I like to screw shit up, not intentionally. Perfect example of someone that, you know, is probably maybe used to be smart when he was younger, but he's just, now he's dumb. So let's get started. So on this certain model, the 1993 Nighthawk CB750, there, it might be on more models, I don't know, but I've noticed that a lot of people aren't including this, I don't know if you can see it there, but there's a little cable mount connected to the carburetors themselves. And this needs to come off, uh, I think, before I loosen my clamps on the boots there and slide the suckers out. And this is what I expect to be a bitch. Oh, fuck. And there's another problem with uh, working on your motorcycle outside or doing a rebuild outside. Battling the rain all the time. I'm fighting the rain right now and I just hit a drop hit my damn face. So we have to do this quickly. We could cause even more trouble for ourselves. So what I'm going to do is loosen these two screws right here, get this mount disconnected and put those two screws back in. Let's see if I'm smart enough to do that. Come on, motherfucker. Oh, there we go. Whoa. Hey, I just removed the carbs. What do you know? Carbs are removed. <laughs> These must have not been torqued down at all. That fucking shit just fell right out of there. Just fucking finish her off then, fuck it. Oh, there you go. So this is coming along easier than I thought it would be. Like I said, I've, I wanted somebody to come teach me this, but no one will. I think they're all just like, fuck you kid, you gotta learn on your own like we learned. I don't wanna go up, I'm a toy just kid. And that's exactly what I'm trying to do here. Turn the carbs a little bit. I'm lucky because I already got the air box removed, so I don't have to worry about that. So I turn the car a little bit and just remove the throttle. Let's put these screws back in. I'm a fucking idiot. I have to get those off somehow. Those fucking two throttle cables and the clutch cable. Okay, I can see how the clutch cable is going to come off. There's like a little bead in there that you have to just slip right out. Slip right out. It just slips right out, right? It just slips right out. Okay, now you're gonna be a bitch, aren't you? Oh ho! One throttle cable out. While you're doing this, I've learned that you don't want to twist things around and get all functified because you can you can uh, pinch a throttle cable and then you're fucked. It's gonna bind up or like you'll get a throttle stick or some shit like that. Throttle stuck open, something crazy. Something fucked up that's gonna fuck up your fucking life for fucking sure fuck. Sick. Oh, I see. There. Clutch cable's off. Fuck, I'm sweating. Clutch cable's off. Well, be careful not to bang these around too much when you're trying to take this shit off, I've been told. You gotta be easy with your cheesies. Come here, motherfucker. Don't piss me off. This is gonna be a fucking calm video. Come off of there. Mother son of a bitch. Okay, there is some gas in those carbs. That's a good sign. Come on, motherfucker! All right, there we go. There's a tool that I learned that you could use for just about anything. Uh, messing with uh, throttle springs, uh, from disconnecting cables to reconnecting cables. So let's see how this is gonna work. I used to use these for other things. Emos don't let me down. Emo, wanna come out of there? I see you do. Come out of there, motherfucker. I'm getting gasoline all over my hand. Slides right off, huh? I guess if you're not an idiot like me, it probably slides right off. Come on, you fucking horse cock. <laughs> and we have, and we have an inline four carburetor removed. Gas dripping out of it, and my sweat dripping onto it. Great. What? Shit. 
So, I did it. I fucking did it. With, with uh, help from Light It Up 550, a lot of YouTube videos, and a lot of studying online, I removed the fucking carburetors and the throttle cables and the clutch cable successfully without hurting anything that I thought would happen and removed the carbs for a nice cleaning and rebuild. So I need to get these over to my buddy's garage so we can get them rejetted, clean out from underneath there while I got all this fucking taken apart. The most important thing of the day is the 4th of July, I need to drink a lot of beer. I suggest you do the fucking same. Thanks for watching. Thank you to the motor vlogging community and Sergeant Markins for getting me started on this project. And we'll see you next time on Backroad Moto, right? Oh fuck. Right.